The last entrepreneur for tonight is 24-year-old Muhammad Daniel. He wants to set up an education portal for students and graduates. Will he be able to pursue his dreams? Hi, I'm Muhammad Daniel. I'm one of the founders in edulink.my and also one of the board of directors in Jaydan Sunembahat. I started my business when I was um, 18 years old. I have uh, experience working with people and I set up my own uh, web technology consultation company as well as business consultation. Edulink.my is a matchmaker between a trainees and trainers and between the public and the organizer. We already have a user registration in our website and the numbers are growing every day. We receive a lot of comments, a lot of feedback from the users and most of them are positive. They are thanking us for what we did. Selepas saya mengenali dan juga berjumpa dengan Daniel sendiri, sistem ini sangat mudah digunakan tidak seperti yang uh, port seperti lain yang macam nak, nak masuk ni. Masuk ni kan buat saya rasa macam give up terus tapi sistem ini dia buat saya lebih efektif. This portal, I can be notified earlier and also I show it to my friends and they find it very very interesting. So people out there most probably should be told about this portal. I choose to develop this portal because I see there's a lot of a gap to connect between a participant and the seminar forum dialogue and all because a lot of people have to register their interest by fax, by email, by walk-in, by a telephone call. More than 400,000 persons in Malaysia in June 2011 that unemployed. We as a middleman between uh, students and also the training provider so we we can link them based on their interests and needs so we managed to solve it by setting up our own website which is um, edulink with my system is a one-stop center and it is also a one-time registration we will not become a just a local player we will become a global player as well because internet users in world is increasing and we believe that the business can sustain I'm Daniel, director of Jadis and uh, my business is um, Edulink. Edulink.my, it connects between the students and colleges, universities. Okay, Inside this Edulink.my, it has a lot of uh, database. It has a lot of, um, um, a lot of uh, profile from those, from those like colleges, universities. So we link between a student to a college, to a university, where students can do a search, can do a lookup to any college that they're interested in. Is that, is that just description or just some more? Because if that's where it stops, it's not sexy. Daniel's answers are not strong enough and the judges feel that his business idea and presentation is not sexy. But what does sexy mean? But after what you have described, is there anything else that is going to you know, make us excited? Any value added things? Any value added? Okay, I won't, uh, I won't deny that there would be competition. In, mm. fact, in fact, there is a competitor to us. We have like uh, we have like um, Heska and we have Heska Education Network, uh, Heska Senin yeah. Bahad. But uh, that's a bit different from us because as you can see, when we do a research on their web, we find out that uh, they use a disk profiling. Mm. Uh, it's more into uh, Holland's type of research. It's the elements inside there is not uh, really, I mean, not really uh, local mm. because they only they only have like elements like. You know, if you want to become an engineer, if you want to become a lawyer, you want to become a doctor and all that. But they don't put spiritual elements in it. So we, we, we are going to tie up with, um, with the universities to produce our own our Sorry, own what, does, what does spiritual have to do with certification or okay, university? Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm a bit lost. It seems that the judges don't really understand what Daniel is saying. And they feel that his proposal is not strong enough. Does Daniel have anything else to say? Okay, sure. let's say student wants to become uh, Ustazah or Ustaz. Yeah. So they don't have this kind of profiling. Yeah. yeah because in our edulink.my, we have... So you want to be the intermediary between them and God? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly. Right. Okay. So uh, edulink.my, um, yeah. Okay. Uh, usually what we're looking for is, like my friend Nazim here says, something that is sexy, scalable and sustainable. So far, belum we haven't heard what is going to be a bit special you will uh, put up a moat around your company from competition coming in. Okay. All right. I mean, they're all talking about competition. Mm. Nothing in this world is without competition. Okay. So don't be too fearful about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But nonetheless, uh, now that you have started, how have you seen the progress of your company? The number of people that have come in to, to seek your, your kind of... Uh, okay. the, what
the offering. Never mind about competition. Everywhere is a competition. My AG faces competition all the time. Dato Dato Nareza seems to be positive of what Daniel is saying. Daniel is now back on track and feeling a little bit more comfortable answering the questions. But looks like she's got something else in her mind. Uh, but how are you facing that competition mm. at the moment yeah. and how have you progressed? Okay, the team inside our company, there were five of us and our web server crashed down because we have a limited budget. We host mm -hmm. on a very cheapest, but we are cheapest hosting actually. Yeah. So. Uh, so what has he got to do with competition and facing competition? No, no, he's therefore saying that mm. the number of people trying to get into access into We cannot support the bandwidth is, actually. Uh, so it's down. Because we host, yeah, because we hosted on... Animan. Yeah, because we started, uh, we started organizing uh, an event actually. So when we, the, the site actually crashed down because we started... Uh, How do you make your money? Sorry? How do you make your money? Okay, uh, we have already talked with several organizations and they are willing to, they are willing to partnership with us mm -hmm. whereby uh, we get their database, their mm -hmm. courses, mm -hmm. their all those um, courses that are available in their institution mm -hmm. and um, they are going to pay us by uh, either pay per advertisement mm -hmm. or either pay per recruitment. Okay. You either decide that you are going to make your money from signing up students and therefore getting a cut of those fees from mm -hmm. the universities mm -hmm. as a marketing arm is what Dato mentioned or you can look at it from the point of view of looking to be a high volume hit site to receive advertisements. Mm. Most of the time they don't coexist. Yes, correct. Which one are you? Uh, because we can't, really, we can't really determine the price because as you can see we are not like Job Street where you can advertise your advertisement yeah. and then you can... No, but the question is which one are you? Are you a booking engine mm. okay. or are you a travel advisory yeah. site? Daniel has to think before answering this question. It may be the final point to determine whether he gets to the next round or walk home with nothing. No, but the question is which one are you? Are you a booking engine mm, okay. or are you a travel advisory yeah. site? Are you a trip advisor or are we you are, Agoda? We are both. Mm. Okay, you prove, prove mm. Mr. Afzal wrong by saying, telling us now that mm -hmm. actually you can do both and quite efficiently and, and that is not going to you know, jam mm. or one against the other. Mm. Uh, are you willing to do that? Are you a trip advisor or Agoda? Dato's that, question that is, prove you, to us that, that you can you be can both. both. Because if we, if we do both, right, we are actually in the blue ocean. Because if I mention, ah. there's a lot of recruitment portal out there. Mm. So I be. love that word, blue ocean, yeah. but keep going, please. <laughs> <laughs> because there's a lot of recruitment portal out there. So if we just become, we, if we just become a recruitment portal, it's just a stone from the other stone. But if we provide automated self-advisory, we are a bit different from them. And we are not just concentrating on the web applications. We are concentrating on the mobile apps as well. We are developing our own our own apps from the iPhone. How, how, what is your age again? I'm 24. 24, okay. How much money do you okay, actually I, need? Okay, yeah. actually I need about 18,000 for the development of the prototype to improvise the prototype. We already have the prototype. Mm -hmm. Okay, we only have... Uh, ballpark, we already ballpark figure. All together. Yes, how much all together. One number. <laughs> about 86,000. Sorry? 86,000. 86,000 ringgit. Yes, thank you for your honesty, young man. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> all right, thanks. <laughs> thank you. Looks like this 24-year-old could answer the questions confidently and calmly. Now, it's just up to the judges and investors. I feel good actually because the judges are being honest and they are really, they are really encouraging. They give, they give all sorts of opinions and ideas. Actually, uh, they didn't really give some harsh comment. It's just an honest comment. I would say that they actually encourage us to think outside of the box. I managed to send my message to them and they really understand what I want and they are they're thanking me for being honest of the amount that I really want. We already improvised our prototype. From time to time we just need some seed funding to improvise our prototype. I have already signed up with uh, several organizations. I have already signed up a um, few clients. Some are even notable clients and I believe that, you know, I believe that uh, with this um, some with this engagement between me and the other clients so there will be a perfect match for us. Three entrepreneurs have done their pitch. Now it's up to the judges and investors to determine who will be given the chance to move to the next round. It will be answered after the break.